Okay, how about this? Ten best places in San Francisco to pick up men. No. Ten best places to pick up women. No. Ten best places to pick up litter. Pick up sticks. Pick my nose. <laughs> What's the point? You're gonna say no to everything? What are you talking about? Jack, how long has it been since you gave up coffee? 26 hours. What's your point? <laughs> First of all, you've been snapping at everybody. And second of all, you just ate a peppermint patty without taking the wrapper off. No wonder I didn't get that cool minty sensation. <laughs> well, maybe giving up coffee, cold turkey is not the way to go. You know, you, you could uh, win yourself uh, gradually, uh, half cuff, half decaf, then uh, half of a half of a cup, <laughs> and then uh, half of a half of a half of a cup. <laughs> In Spanish, this would be much less irritating. Yes, it would have to be. Now, can we move on? What have you got for me, Todd? Okay. I want to review one of the greatest thrash bands of all time. Big Bag of Flies. <laughs> it seems like only yesterday they were a big bag of maggots. <laughs> <laughs> They're legendary for the power, intensity, and raw anger of their music. Songs like Head Full of Nails are anthems to my generation much like Give Peace a Chance was for yours. <laughs> exactly how old do you think I am? Oh boy, I'm pretty bad at this. Uh, 50... Just write the review. <laughs> really? Yes. This is either an idea or I'm having an aneurysm. <laughs> so I'll say this quickly. We devote an entire issue to the San Francisco music scene. Todd, you write the reviews. Vicky, best clubs in town. Luis, pictures backstage, on stage, out front. Susan, personal experience. Suddenly, Susan in the club scene. Ah, now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna pour some non-dairy creamer into some herbal tea and fake it! <laughs> they are, Suze. You are looking at a band whose creative vision helped define alternative music. Would that include that guy over there who's throwing up into the ficus? <laughs> but look at the way he's throwing up. Passionate. Totally committed. <laughs> and that guy with the guitar? That's Dirk. He writes the songs. He is. Big bag of flies. <laughs> and now I can finally tell him how much his music means to me. Hey. Hey, and you are? Todd Stites, music reviewer. The Gate. Great. Yeah, so, uh, have a good show, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> did, did, did you hear me? Have a great show, man. The thumbs up? I was gushing like a schoolgirl. Yeah, you practically threw your panties at him. <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to him. What? Oh, how am I supposed to write about an experience if I don't experience? No, Susan. No, Susan. No. Hi, I'm uh, Susan Keene. I write a column for The Gate. Suddenly, Susan, perhaps you don't care. <laughs> but it's about my life and all the wild and interesting things that happen. Yes, I know. Last week you had Mongolian barbecue. You read it? I'm a print junkie. I read everything. I thought your article was interesting, but your choice of entrees was a little timid. Well, uh, I don't think you can be too careful when it comes to pork. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I really like your music. You do? Well, what's your favorite song? Uh, well, the, uh, the one about the girl, who's, um, very special. Monkey nipples. <laughs> Good tune, yeah. Uh, you don't know anything about us, do you? Well, only in the sense that, um, that I know nothing about you. I'm sorry. Don't be. Actually, it's kind of refreshing. I'm guessing that you don't have a single tattoo. Nope. My tongue's not even pierced. <laughs> Old-fashioned girl, I like that. Look, I'm sorry, I would love to continue this, but uh, I've got to go clean up my bass player. Oh, well, I'm sure the audience would appreciate that. <laughs> oh, 
and maybe not. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the show. Thanks. I'm really looking forward to hearing your music. And I'm being honest now. Making me crazy, making me crazy. Nothing can save me, nothing can save me. Into my eyes, into my ears. Crushed it by tears. What do you mean, you lost her? Well, one minute she was next to me, and then the next, the people, they started moshing, and she was carried away like one of those cows in Twister. <laughs> For God's sake! Mr. Richman, please. The needles can only do so much. And they could do much more if you dipped them in a little double espresso. <laughs> Maybe I'll come back later. Todd! Do not make me run with needles in my face. Wait, wait, something's different. <laughs> Did you get a haircut? You just keep pushing. Okay. <laughs> Morning. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, by the way, I loved you in Hellraiser 6. <laughs> These are for stress. Are they working? Yeah! <laughs> so, uh, what did you think, huh? Well, I know this is gonna sound weird, but I actually had a really good time. You're kidding. Ah, I mean, it was loud and it was intense, but it was so alive. All right, I could have done without the guy who kept licking the back of my neck, but, um... <laughs> other than that, it was great. Susie Q, I'm proud of you. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I, I, I can't wait to read it. But now, if you'll excuse me, I think my head is starting to deflate. <laughs> oh my God, it's A. <laughs> hey. Good morning. Derek, hi. Hey, don't worry, man. I gave you a great review. <laughs> So, what are you doing here? I looked for you last night after the show. I couldn't find you, so I thought I'd bring you a little something. Mongolian barbecue? <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Uh, just an attempt at an endearing gesture. Well, it worked. Look, we didn't get a lot of time to talk last night, so I was thinking maybe after my last set tonight, we could get together and have coffee. Sure, why not? Yeah, I'd, I'd like that. Well, let me write down my address. Already done? <laughs> Thank you, Todd. It's getting past my bedtime, so I'll see you later then. Great. Susanne, uh, yeah, you cannot actually uh, be interested in uh, going out with that uh, man. <laughs> why, because he's a rock and roller? Come on, Susan, you know what those people are like. I mean, they have black clothes and they have smoldering looks and they have guitars. They carry around like phallic props. <laughs> people like that disgust me. That's amazing. I mean, there's a girl band in Seattle that goes on stage wearing exactly the same thing. They got it from me. You know, Miss Cutting Edge. <laughs> exactly what time is it? Round four. 
Oh, I waited till two. Um, I thought you said you were coming over after your last set. But this is after my last set. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot you were a civilian. We can do this another time. Oh, no, that's all right. I've got to get up for work in three hours anyway. Come on, I'll pull some coffee. Well, on second thought, why don't I take you out? Now? Absolutely. I'll show you a part of San Francisco I bet you've never seen. At four o'clock in the morning, this is a part of San Francisco I've never seen. <laughs> Come on, it'll be fun. You can bring your pets. <laughs> uh, that's okay, I'll, um, I'll leave them here. They can protect the apartment. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, so, how was it? Amazing. Ooh. Amazing like we got Chinese food amazing, or amazing like, oops, my bra's on the ceiling fan. <laughs> well, first of all, he didn't come over till about 4 a.m. Of course he would come over at 4 a.m. That is so dirk. <laughs> I can't listen to this. Well, well, just tell me one thing. Did his guitar ever come out of its case? <laughs> no, Luis, it was a non-musical evening. <laughs> We walked all around the city. We saw fishing boats leave the wharf, the sun come up over the Bay Bridge, and then we ended up at this really cool all-night diner. David Bowie and Iman were at the next table. Boy, can she pack it away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cut to the chase. Are you gonna see him again? Tonight. Okay, okay. Here's what we do. I come over, cook the three of us a little din-din. Now, I only know how to make fish sticks and jello, but with a little ketchup, it's a meal. <laughs> Todd, if someone offers you a life, take it. <laughs> Susan, if you're gonna see this guy tonight, we don't have a lot of time, okay? And uh, Mama Vicky is gonna see to it that you are totally prepared. Well, Mama, I think it's uh, a little too early for the no glove, no love lecture. Oh, I'm talking about a lot more than gloves here, honey. By the time I'm done with you, you're gonna look like rock and roll Barbie. <laughs> now grab that sensible shoulder bag of yours. We're going shopping! <laughs> Okay, guys, you're up. Will I see you out front? Well, you will if my seams give out. <laughs> you know, in the few days I've known you, you've managed to wear everything from Barbara Bush to Barbarella. <laughs> somehow you managed to make them all look beautiful. Thank you. I'm actually beginning to enjoy the feeling of cold vinyl against my skin on a freezing San Francisco night. <laughs> That's an image that will definitely keep me warm for a little while. Well, that was kind of a surprise. I'm sorry, am I moving too fast? No, I uh, just said it was a surprise. I didn't say I didn't like it. Someone didn't get enough sleep last night. It was those furry hot pants we got, wasn't it? <laughs> no need to thank me! I need coffee. There is none. Jack had the machine taken away. No. I can't handle this anymore. Oh, come on. Handle what? Uh, this lifestyle. I really like him, Todd. I mean, he's dark and dangerous and incredibly sexy. He's unlike anybody I've ever dated. But if I continue these hours, I'm going to make Keith Richards look like an ad for Oil of Olay. <laughs> Susan, you, you can't just throw this away. I mean, this could be the most important relationship of our lives. <laughs> okay, Todd, now you're starting to scare me. Why does this mean so much to you? Susan, I'm a music reviewer. I, mean, I, I spend my life writing about what other people do. And Dirk, Dirk is doing the one thing I've dreamed about doing. Unless he's sleeping with you, then he's doing two things. <laughs> but I'm digressing here. Todd, 
You can't live your life through other people. Well, if you want to do something, do it. Are you saying you'll sleep with me? <laughs> I'm saying that if you want to write music, write it. Well, I'm exhausted enough living my own life. I can't live yours, too. I got it. Got it. That's good. That's good advice. So that was a that was a firm no on the sleep thing. <laughs> Just checking. Well, why didn't you say something before? Well, I tried, but I kept falling asleep. <laughs> Look, I know what the problem is. So far, everything's been in my world. So how about this? We'll spend a little time in yours. What do you mean? Well, tomorrow is Sunday, right? Saturday. It is. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> We'll spend the day doing whatever it is you do during the day. Are you sure? Let me put it this way. Don't give up on us, baby. Oh, my God. You're quoting David Soul. You must be serious. <laughs> Maybe late. I'm not sure which. Don't ask me. I, I'm still trying to figure out what that big, bright, round thing in the sky is. We call it the sun. Can you make it go away? I guess you're just going to have to wait till the fog comes in. Are you hungry? Some steak and eggs might help. Well, I don't have any steak or eggs, but I made a fruit salad. F fruit? <laughs> yeah, it comes from those tall, woody, leafy things. <laughs> the big, bright, round thing helps them grow. <laughs> Maybe later. Do you have any coffee? Is vanilla hazelnut okay? Oh, great. <laughs> Are you really sure you want to see these family photos? Absolutely. It's where you come from. It's part of who you are. Okay, well... <clears throat> Here we are at SeaWorld. <laughs> this is us at Disneyland. Um, six flags over Texas. And, um, oh, I, this one's really good, actually. Um, it's Colonial Williamsburg. That's my dad with his arm around Ben Franklin. <laughs> we thought that was so funny then. Yeah, yeah, I, I bet it was. Well, do you have any, um, stories about your family? Well, one sort of sticks out in my mind. Uh-huh. Well, about 17 years ago, my father went out to get us ice cream. And? And he never came back. <laughs> well, here we are at Yellowstone. <laughs> You're not enjoying this, are you? No, it's great. Uh, maybe not as much fun as the 30-something marathon. But... Well, that was just one episode. You're kidding. <laughs> Here we go. P-A-I-N. <laughs> Six points, double word score, 12. Okay, who are we kidding? This isn't working. It's working for you. You're 300 points ahead. <laughs> Derek, I, I know how hard you're trying, and really, it's sweet. But we've got bigger problems than just our schedules. What do you mean? Well, let's look at the board, okay? Um, I spell out happy, and you use the P for pain. Um, I, I put down hope, and you use the H for hell. <laughs> I turn the L into love, and you use the V for vomit. <laughs> Do you see a pattern here? I mean, come on, it's just words. Well, no, they're not just words. It's, this is the way we see life. I can't help it. The world's depressing. I know it can be sometimes. You gotta believe it can get better. No. You see, Susan, you believe that. I can't. I don't see how somebody can live like that. Well, I admit, it's not all that much fun, but I get some really good songs out of it. And that's enough for you? It has to be. That's so sad. It's just life. Well, maybe it's yours, but it can't be mine. I suppose not. 
Well, just so you know, if I thought that I could, you know, be happy being miserable, you're definitely someone that I would try being miserable with. <laughs> and if I thought I could be happy being happy, you're definitely someone I would try being happy with. <laughs> Sounds like a song to me. So what do you think? I was looking for an article on the rock scene, and I got a love story. I know, I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? This is great. You're not just saying that because you're on coffee again. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Susan, a good writer has to open themselves up, take risks, and be vulnerable. And this is very good writing. Thank you. Now, when you say very good, do you mean the... And a good writer also knows how to take a compliment, and leave. Bye-bye. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's still a work in progress. Just play it already? So, yeah. <laughs> Trying hard to write a song. <laughs> Only got the first little section. Played guitar so loud and long. <laughs> got a middle ear infection. <laughs> Can't write a song. Everybody can write a song, can write a song.